Here is Wigamog. Waiting for wind and rain. They're off. Moby Dip first into stride. Win and rain from the outside. John Snow and Bright Fortune towards the inside. Third and fourth. Wigamog is racing in fifth. I can only imagine it is the gray. And two lengths last is Wise Catch. And Moby Dip runs down the back stretch. A half a length in front of Win and Rain. Now from the center is John Snow, only a length and a half off the lead. Wigamog's moved up to the outside, three deep in the red colors. Bright Fortune's going to need a seam along the inside. I can only imagine it patiently managed and wise catch trails, and everyone's got a chance through a quarter, 22 and 3. As they approach the quarter pole, it is Moby Dip with all sorts of pressure from win and rain. These two are level, a length to Wigamog. John Snow gives way along the inside. Bright Fortune still looking for room. Here comes wise catch and I can only imagine it. Watch out for Wise Catch swinging off the back end. Now it's into the stretch and win and rain and Moby Dip continue to slugfest. Moby Dip has the better though. Half a length to win and rain with a furlong to run. John Snow's back into the bit. Wigamog, but it's Moby Dip in deep stretch. John Snow, one final push. Moby Dip keeps finding Moby Dip and a colossal victory to win by one. John Snow and I can only imagine it th second and third. The placing judges have posted number seven, Moby Dip, first. Number four, John Snow, second. Number five, I Can Only Imagine It, third. Number eight, Wigamog, fourth. Seven, four, five, eight on the board, running time one minute, eleven and three-fifths seconds. Presenting the winning horse in today's fifth race, the winner is number seven, Moby Dib, bred in Ontario by his owner, a dark brown gelding, four years old, by the Sire Mobile, out of the Benny the Dip Dam, Ormond's first dip.